Yes, hello dear friends, my name is Richard and welcome to this Daily Brief Gospel Reflection and today I'd like to highlight more on living in the light. For me, having this eyeglass, it's difficult for me to drive during night time with my motorcycle and wearing my helmet. Every time I, there's an approaching car with their headlights on, as we approach closer and closer, there's a certain portion of my eyes uh, that I become, I become blinded and maybe because of my eyes needs to adjust with a very uh, high or with, because of that light and then there's still an adjustment and also I still remember before when there was still no electricity in the place that we were living together with my parents and the only light that we do have during night time is a lamp but the point is that it's difficult to be in the darkness or to be to live a life that is we are being blinded due to this darkness and with darkness we see it as a form it can be also suffering in relation to the gospel or the reflection yesterday but the darkness can also be living our lives the way that it is not intended for us or the way that Jesus wanted us to live our lives in the first reading today taken from 1st John verse 2 ver- uh, chapter 2 verse 8 to 11 says there yet I am writing you a new command this is um, uh, this is Saint John saying its truth is seen in him and in you because the darkness is passing and the true light is already shining the truth is seen in him and in you the truth is already being shown to us but the by the coming of the Messiah and upon learning the words through the Bible through the day-to-day encounter or embracing of such love We have seen the truth and it says here also that they do not know where they are going because the darkness has blinded them. Definitely it's difficult for us to find a path if it's dark. Imagine yourself walking in a very during night time in a forest. It's difficult for us if we don't have even a small light that will guide us. For those who know uh, those who go through the uh, forest during night time they have a light that, uh, that will serve as their guide and it's going to be the moon as long as you can see the moon you know that you can still you can still find a path in there but the point is that it's really it's going to be difficult for us if we continue to live our journey in the dark so the question that I ask is that why we should live in the light is that being in the light allows us to see more things great wonderful and amazing things and we cannot see these things when our eyes are blinded if we are living in the dark if we are if we are joining in this life living in the darkness and we need Jesus to have our eyes be open and allow him to have our eyes see what he wants us to see dear friends 2018 is about to end 2019 is approaching fast approaching and there are a lot of things that the Lord is preparing for you and he wants you and is encouraging all of us today to have our eyes to accept him in our respective lives and if we have him already let's ask him to have our eyes the eyes of our respective hearts to be open in order for us to see what he wants us to see and so that in the end we will be like Simeon saying sovereign Lord as you have promised you may now dismiss your servant in peace for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the sight of all nations a light for revelation to the gentiles and the glory of your people israel we may be like israel we may be like the samian that at the end of this journey lord thank you for allowing me to see such light and allowing me to to go in this journey having you being the light in my life And so, dear friends, always remember that you are blessed and such blessings are not meant for you to keep but for us to share to others. We have a great day ahead. God bless you.